Come on, Rangers. Come on, Rangers. We missed the whole game. We're in the end game now. With just three games left to play, Dorking are on the verge of safety. A pivotal Easter Monday trip to Yeovil gave the Wanderers a chance to put that Woking defeat behind them. And with Mark's unwavering belief coursing through the team's veins, they kept a clean sheet and nicked a goal in what was, frankly, a dire game of football. Still, it left Dorking in a far stronger position than perhaps we might have expected after the York defeat with Yeovil themselves having to consider the inevitability of life back in the National League South. Poor Yeovil. And so back to Meadowbank where Altrincham are headed, a club that comfortably defeated Dorking back in October as they looked for a playoff push. Unfortunately for them, just three wins in their last 10 games derailed their season and they come to Surrey with little to play for as their National League security has already been secured so things are looking good for Dorking on a bright April afternoon. Until that is, we realise that Mark White has been booked eight times this season and thus he's not allowed near the Dorking bench for the entirety of today's game. So I'm on a touchline ban, which is great, good news at the moment. We'll see how long that one lasts, but I'm on a touchline today so I can do everything except be in the dugout and I can talk to the dugout so I'll be the back of the stand, but I'm allowed on the pitch before, during, after, nothing changes, which is great. Today is a really good one to win, there is no question. And for that reason, you should play this today at an absolute 30 out of 10, individually and as a team. This is one game I'll tell you to play at full fucking throttle. We weren't full throttle at Yeovil, and I tell you, we were cautious. We knew we couldn't lose the game. We knew we got unlucky on the Saturday. So we've done the right thing. But now I want to go back into that mindset we were against Southend, uh, Barnet, you know. I want to go back into that maidenhead mindset where we were so dominant because we were so aggressive in what we'd done. We have to go into that mode today. It's a home game on our patch and it's a good one to win, right? So that is my number one fucking aim is the aggression is big. Now, normally they always play 4-2-3-1. That's how they play. At their place, uh, they just pressed our back three. It's the easiest track, but we're, we've come on quantums, obviously. The full press game. This lad, Jimmy, you're playing out here. He dives in for fun. He literally is constantly diving in, but he looks to win fair, strong tackles. So I wouldn't fucking invite one, right? But you can probably get him on a booking. The boy who plays on here, he, he's their best <laughs> boy from United, Chorley. He's a really good ball player. But the main thing, Kildy, for you today is to do what Dan's done exceptionally. Do not get passable. He's done it. No one plays that role defensively better than Dan in the fucking league. And he's single-handedly come in and done exactly what we wanted to do. Apart from that, the only other bit is when we play Jason, for me, it's right. Seager, be aware he tends to win most stuff. When we get a Jason, use two, second ball. When we get a Jason, at least one winger, I'm getting off Jason. Constantly looking to use that as a threat. If Jason drifts your side, and that sounds like schoolboy stuff, if he drifts your side, your immediate reaction is, I'm expecting him to win the ball, yeah, the other side, and just get level, just get level. So anticipation of Jason is key, right? Um, when and if we do go direct, yeah? That's what I'd say. It's National League football, okay? They're full-time, they'll be fucking organised, and I don't want any of you letting your teammates down with how far we fucking come, all right? That's the plan. Good? I think the touchline bands are actually, that, that's, that's a good, quite a good rule they've got, really. Um, they don't prohibit you doing your job um, before, during and after. But during the game, they say you can't say anything, but you can communicate with the bench. Um, but um, you're not allowed to communicate with the players. I think most managers in this division have had a suspension at some point this year. This particular one, and I've got them like London buses lining up, to be fair, is for eight bookings. Because obviously the FA have double jeopardy. Will I learn? No. 
no chance. Um, will I be suspended next year? Definitely. It is what it is, mate. I'm not going to change. What are your expectations for the club at the start of the season? Just to stay in the league, to be honest. It's our first season going full time, so we weren't sure what was going to happen. We had a core group of about seven players who were part time, and we lost them at the start of the season. So the aim was a bit of a season to try and stay in the league, steady the ship, and then go again next season. Well, uh, was, we just gone full time at the start of this season, so I was happy to take uh, safety, really, but I'm happy with the mid table finish, to be honest. Yeah, I am happy, and hopefully, we'll push on next season because. We're making good progress, so hopefully next season's the same. But this t the team now seems to be improving. They've put a lot of money into it. They've gone full time, um, and hopefully that's going to carry on. Although a full time budget is still a very small budget compared to yeah. some teams in this league. Yeah. Just a shame that we need to get too many loan players, basically, because sooner or later all the club parent clubs need them back, and it, you know, it upsets our season. And at the point, you know, but we get away with it and, you know, since the management team have come here six, seven years ago, never looked back, it's been brilliant, you know. They have ambitions to get into the league, but I think we'd struggle as a League Two club. Um, we might be alright for a few seasons, but eventually we'd come back down again. And hopefully looking for promotion to League Two, that, that, that's the club's long-term vision. Take it easy, lads, yeah? Where are you going on to do this year? You, you, where you booked, my bar? Where? They're, 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 they're almost definitely 4-3-3. Okay. But I mean, I'm talking the boys playing in these wide areas are centre forwards. Yeah. So, do you know what I mean? So they probably have three targets that hit. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. Josh, don't forget them, that forward running you've been doing, trying to join in the box. Anything around the box, if it's, if it's tight, if we've had the ball for five minutes, get a shot off. Yeah, just get a shot off. Jimmy, get us a win today, mate. Come on, it's a good one to win this one for us, mate. Come on, son. Just going to try and pay off the ref. No fucking margin spared. Now the user at nine. Everyone at a fucking ten. Get thinking straight. Start thinking about your role. Get your head on the fucking game. Win your battle, Moro, Josh Taylor. Win the battle of the pivots. You know Kjord is looking for a ball or two here today, didn't you? You know that. Ideally, he's doing it in transition. Because that's when they're tucked in. That's when it's dangerous. You understand, Jim? If he's coming out from Seb's side and we find Kjord, that's when he's looking for it, isn't it? It's at that moment. Come on, boys. Oh, yeah, come on, on the front foot. Come on, gents. On, You've worked so right. hard. You've worked so fucking hard, lads. You've worked so fucking hard. You really fucking deserve to win the day. You fucking give this your bollocks. Keep your discipline at all times, right? Don't want to hurt us, okay? Win the fucking battle. Play this for me like a fucking cup final. Just play this as the home team like a fucking cup final and make this lot not fancy it. If you are dominating the ball, don't get excited at the back tone. Don't let us stay compact the whole game. Okay, come on, boys. Come on, boys. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Milo, mate. You alright, boys? Thought I'd take it easy. You alright? With Mark safely secured at the back of the main stand, it's down to Beardy, Dukes, Dino, and Carl to communicate with the players. For Mark is not allowed to say a single word to them and we have absolute faith in his ability to keep his thoughts to himself. Altrincham are the first to get a sniff of goal as Josh Lundstrom cuts inside to hit a cross shot in the goal's general direction. And yet, Mark says nothing. We don't need Mark to say it out loud, but he's definitely thinking that Dan Lincoln should play it early and also that Dorking shouldn't play backwards, for that will be playing into the press, the cardinal sin of dealing with a press, of which Altrincham are playing a full one. George, George, leave him! What's this one? George! Jimmy, talk, talk, Jimmy! 
Altrincham is a hard word to say this many times, so let's go with the nickname, which is... The Robins. The Robins are on the front foot, although Dorking are defending well. Jimmy, get on! Jimmy, higher! This way. You got time, you got time, you got time. Cookie! Cookie! Do to pull! Make him on! Out ball! Although Mark cannot talk to the players, he is allowed to talk to the bench, specifically Dino. He's ringing me already, that won't three minutes. Hello, mate. Obviously, Jimmy needs to be fucking getting him on his outside, yeah, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Right? Listen, they've yeah. a fucking slow start here, Dino. Yeah, I know, yeah. Right, yeah. okay, fucking yeah. get on it, yeah? yeah? Jimmy! Like everyone else at Meadow Bank, Mark is aware that Dorking have had the slower start, and the question is can he affect the game before the Robins Run score? Again. Jimmy! Jimmy, you got two! Fucking hell. Altrincham creates an overload down the right-hand side and Jordan Holm lays the ball off to Regan Linney, who clips a shot over the head of Dan Lincoln to make it 1-0. Dino, like... Like, we've said got the ball in the corner, there's no one supporting him. Our midfield, their midfield went and doubled up with the fellow, and our midfielder just stood still. Like, Mor Moro and Josh, get them higher up the pitch, fucking doing a job on these two in midfield. Mark has a plan for getting Dorking back on track, but there's no room for errors after conceding so early. dreading this bit of narration. Tony Craig makes an unfortunate slip at the most crucial moment and that allows Oya Dele an opportunity to run at goal where he duly sinks the ball into the bottom right corner to make it 2-0 inside eight minutes. Ringing again. Hello mate. Dino, they keep playing backwards Dino. That's yeah. why it's happened. Yeah. Tell them to fucking play forward. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck? Tell yeah. George, get into George, get into Tony. Play yeah. forwards. Uh, yeah. Moro, Gareth playing forward! The Dorking fans chant insist that they're going to win 3-2, but few people in the vicinity truly believe in that. Dorking are looking more like the team that got smashed by Oldham than the one that's won. Is it three and four? Four and five? Oh, I should have checked that. Yep, checked it. It's, it's four out of five. Forward passes, Jim. Thief. Forward Thief. passes. Thief. That's better. Fucking that, ain't. Wanderers are beginning to go forwards and not back, and with the Robins believing that they can get a soul-destroying third, they're committing bodies forwards, and that could easily backfire. Jimmy, get that! Keep, keep the ball! Out. Keep the ball! Good, Josh! Jimmy, hi, come on! Jimmy, set up! Keep it! Switch! Straight mate, everything, nothing's coming across and out. Jules, get Jimmy, get higher! Jimmy, get higher! Sprint! Just sprint! Sprint! Hey, yeah, Gordy! Lynn, set! Aaron, set! First time today, Dorking gets into the Altrincham box as Seb Bowerman delivers a cross as if he were meeting Adrian Carton de Viart. And Jimmy Mewitt steals in to put Dorking back in the game. All right. Mate, listen, a couple of things, yeah? Just try yeah. and be clear thinking, right? Yeah. First of all, it's a full press game, yeah? yeah? Joe is nowhere near this fucking striker out here. 
keep pulling off a of Joe the whole time, okay. the nine. Right, yep. get Joe to defend first, okay? Yeah, okay. All right. right so he's saying Joe, Joe's got to defend better on the nine. He's the one out there. Go on, Jim! Take him on! Left foot finish. A lucky! Yeah. A lucky ball! Cookie! 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 No, Cookie! Tony! Tony! Get Cookie nice and tight out there, yeah? Mate, my fucking phone's gonna blow up. That's about eight. Jimmy! Oh, my. Hello, mate. Mate, they've got to play forward. You've yeah. got to get into them about playing telling, forward. We are telling. Listen to me. Listen. From their goal kicks, from their goal kicks, cure has got to drop in on Tony that, Craig's That's exactly feet. what we just All said. Right. That he's got to cool. sit more. Yeah. Cool, mate. All right, back. The on-field tweaks seem to be working as Dorkin look much more likely to equalise than concede, particularly when Aaron Cool is playing passes like this. Deliver. Get back in. Cookie in. Oh, head that is. Keely! Keely! Screen in front now! Wanderers continue the positive spell as Josh Taylor marauds goalwards. Keely! Cookie! Sold out here! Come on, Josh. Good. Well done. Well done. Keely! Just got to sit. About 10 yards in front like that. Good. Dorking might have turned the game around, but they're still behind and the Robins know another goal before half time would be crucial. Again. Yes, watch your man, Josh. The Altrincham attack works the ball like a horny Eva Braun. I think I've used that before now I say it out loud. Joe Hugill gets in behind, but Dan Lincoln saves the day. Jimmy Mewitt has looked like he might well have the beating of Edward Jones, and he really needs to start testing the left back. Fourth. Is that a yellow? I don't know, yeah. What do you think? I'm not going to lie, I, was, I couldn't see it. He was in the way. <laughs> oh, come so on. That's no, that's I, a I, I, the position, the position on the pitch, yeah. that's a yellow card. You need to get on to the ref about that not being a booking. That's a fucking I, I joke, just, mate. I literally just had a massive When, when the ref goes past, you say to the ref, mate, where, 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 he's fucking off and running. Unbelievable. That's what I said, position on the pitch, he's through. Unbelievable. That's a yellow. Yeah. Jimmy, you've got to bollock the ref there and tell him that's a fucking yellow card. Jimmy, we're playing, mate. tell him. That's more than a chat down there, ref. Dorking have undoubtedly improved as the half has gone on, but they're still playing back into the press. And Dino and Mark have both noticed. Hooky wide! Jimmy! Jimmy! Tell him to play forward, stop going back. Tell everyone, play forward. Dino, mate, are you not screaming at him to play forward? Yes, I got, that's all I'm doing, mate. Literally fucking And just keep going scream. back. Lit yeah. Absolute yeah. joke. You've yeah. got to play forward. Yeah, all right, I'm on it. George! George! Forward passes, everyone, yeah? Come on! <laughs> He's going to go ballistic, I think. <laughs> yeah, good half. But that's a yellow. The foul on Newitt in the corner is it has to be a yellow. He's gone. He's gone. A million percent. He's, he's walking in the box. Yeah. George, you okay? Yeah, just open my knee a bit. It's important to know, mate. If I'm doing two changes here. Are you sure, mate? Yeah, I think I'll be right. I don't know. The bench are telling me they're telling you. I don't know why you are trying to pass backwards against a team of kids that haven't won a header. Okay, it's really annoying me. This is st strategically, I'm afraid to say, you've both done nothing wrong, you're both coming off. This is match play. H is going on. Dan's going on because the game plan changes. We can't concede another goal. All right, Dan? You've done, Kewley, you've come into the game well. Kewley, he's got the bloke in his sights, but he's protecting tone. That's your job. Bloke in his sights, bring some information. The information's poor in there. It's fucking poor. Bring some information. You are going direct. I will literally run on the pitch and risk getting banned for two years if anyone passes backwards again in this game. 
You don't need... Pass backwards to go forwards, but don't fucking daydream. I'm asking you now, you two target men, you two will join in. I'm looking for Jimmy and Seb to work your tits off to join in as well. I don't understand it. I don't want to moan at you, because this is match play. But I've told you we're full pressed, and we keep playing back into it. And I'm like, that is why Jason's played like a fucking number eight, to try and touch the ball. And Seager's got no chance behind him. You lot own them things. You have to, listen to me. These results ain't fucking good right now. They are not fucking good. I'm telling you now, and I'm kidding, I've got to keep one eye on it. We fucking defend first. Pictures like this, in this, they're fucking dry, they're sticky, they ain't decent. You know they've got a full press. Jules, when it goes into you, if you go home, he got to play the same ball you've got to play. The same ball, but 25 yards that way. Round the corner, false mistakes, put them under pressure, get the crowd going. It's fucking lackadaisical, thinking wise, thinking wise, right? We now have to strategically defend first, big time. We defend first and we send the fucking ball. Ots and Jason will go and win their battles. They'll bring used to into play. We're gonna have to show a little bit here what we're fucking made of. We're too fucking quiet. You telling me you wanna to get to the end of this and fucking remember being quiet. Remember fucking a decent sized game and you're fucking silent. Anyone silent is the next man off, right? Get the ball up the field, right? And go and win the battles. They're not a team that wants to battle, boys. They're a team that just want to fucking press you and nick the ball. That's it. Get together. Mistakes happen, couldn't give a fuck. But what should not happen is you lot can't see what's going on. Jason Pryor, best number eight on the pitch. Number eight. Because you fucking you lot are playing back here. You know, Dan. You're the goalie. You should be going, fuck off! You don't want the ball, right? Fucking get up the pitch and fucking win your battles. Ox to show you how to win a fucking battle. Win your fucking battles and join it. Get the ball in the box and lock the game up, right? Don't fuck me about, lads. Come on, has to be way better. Come on, boys, come on. Management quick. Bobby, get swap ready in a bit. You, we'll, go, we'll drop it in, yeah? We'll drop it in shallow. Where's, um... George, is that definitely okay before I do these two? George, I think you better just have a little look now. Just Yeah, just have a little look, mate. Just don't, you know what I mean? It's a big one, isn't it? We can't, we, we don't want to make it worse, plus we don't want to waste the sub. Surely stay there, you might be staying on. No good. Right, okay. I don't know, letting them pass ball back like that for well, fucking for, 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 for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, you should have been running on that pitch, fucking strangling them. 30 minutes of them passing the ball back. Fucking embarrassing. Fucking like simple football, kids football. They've got a full press, we keep passing backwards. I don't mean like that, you're coming off in a minute, you're fucking that way. Jules no good. We're gonna have to hold Dan back, aren't we? We're gonna have to hold, or Harry. Dan's gonna go right centre half. You stay on and you lob the fucking ball forward. Yeah. Surely, okay? You lob it and you fucking talk in front of you and you talk left of you. Right, okay? Right. Um, so, Dan's just gonna go right. Harry's going on for seeds. The ball goes forward, lads. It goes forward and we get up the field tone. Get right up the field, okay? And put it on him, okay? Jimmy, come on! Come on, come on, come on. I'll get it around the ref, yeah. Give me the influence. If you would like to sponsor a bunch of amateurs either on a weekly basis or on a full season basis, then get in touch with us on our social channels. Because we don't have a sponsor this week, we're going to dedicate these few seconds to saying, Samsung are terrible at customer service. If ever you buy a Samsung product, don't buy it from their website. Buy it from somebody else because they're not really very good at dealing with the Consumer Rights Act. The beginning of the first half was more hectic than the opening scenes of Face Off, which was so crazy nobody dared make a sequel. But at least in the second part here, Dan Gallagher does indeed try to take Regan Linney's face off. Or at least that's Linney's version of events. We think he's being a bit dramatic, truth be told. The ref's given a drop ball and that puts Dan in a far shakier position than when he had it before and his face nearly fell off. That is so shit. We had the ball, now look. Is this, that's the 
fucking Drops the ball at his feet when he's got someone right in front of him, man. Look, we're under pressure now. Look. You're all right with nothing happens from this. Not only does Dan Lincoln save the shot, he probably also saved the fourth official from being lynched. And obviously, Mark said nothing. He's hey. fucking lucky hey. there, mate, I tell you. We are remarkably impressed with how composed Mark can be when he needs to obey the rules. Even when Josh Taylor loses possession in midfield, Mark keeps quiet. Regan Linney blazes over from 10 yards out, probably because he's now stuck with John Travolta's ridiculous chin. In the meantime, with Ottawa and Pryor up top and a green light from the gaffer to go long, Dorking starts to put the Altrincham defence under some serious pressure. Forward! Uh, that was me that said that. Forward! Say that more on! Crosses! The Robins are sitting deep and Dorking can't seem to find any space in behind. When Lundstrom breaks forwards, it gives Tony Craig a shot at redemption and reminds us as to why Dawkins' defence is so markedly improved. Before the game, Oliver Byrne kept messing with our GoPros, so when we saw him pretend to be injured, we figured, let's mock him for this pathetic attempt to waste time. Get him up. Fucking get him up. That was pathetic, Oliver Byrne. Drive, Cookie, drive! We can only hope that Harry Ottaway pulls off something heroic so we can laugh even more at Oliver Burns' triple roll and fake foot injury. call comes to fruition as the long ball is met by serial header winner Jason Pryor and Ottawa makes sure he's close by to pick up the pieces and score. Remember in the first half when Edward Jones probably should have been booked for his late tackle on the advancing Jimmy Mewitt? Makes you wonder what might have happened here had the ref seen that one differently. Can you hear it? Mark said nothing. Still, it does give Luke Moore a chance to drop the ball onto Jason Pryor's head. Oh, mate. oh my days. Shockingly, Pryor connects cleanly but fires the ball over the bar and in the general direction of Leatherhead. Hello, mate. The, um, They've gone to about three. Have they? Yeah, I think so. I think Jimmy is blowing. Yeah. Um, how long? How long you got on your watch? Uh, ha halfway. All right, we're sitting up for that. Who have we got on the bench? We've either got Bobby or Nicky. Get, they've gone to back three, yeah. They've gone back three, Carl. Yeah. Is that yeah. definite? Definite back definite? three, yeah. Definite back three, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. so you're, you're gonna do Kilby off. Dan goes holding. Put Cookie on the right. Bobby on the left. I'm just looking at the other scores, and a point's okay. So it's just about don't get carried away chasing it. With the other scores down at the bottom of the National League working in their favour, Mark thinks a point is a decent result and switching to a back four against Altrincham's now back three uh, will help secure it. Cookie on the right, Bobby on the left. Left of the three, yeah? On the pitch, the players are yet to receive the message that they're supposed to be settling for a point from here on in, so they're still looking for a winner. Ball Warren! Composure! Yeah. Crawley! 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 Get back! Don't let it bounce! Right decision! Fucking get up! Crosses, Jimmy! Not since Michelangelo finished the Sistine Chapel have we seen a more impressive touch as Jimmy Mewitt circles around Edward Jones like Napoleon at the Battle of Austerlitz. It may be obvious by now that we're using chat GPT to finish some of these jokes. We'll stop doing that now. Indeed, Jason Pryor meets the cross with a finish worthy of the Siege of Vienna.
Okay, that's the last one we promise. Yeah, I'm just talking the fucking fire. Hello, mate. No, change your change your plan now. Yeah, change your okay. plan. Yeah, it's Isaac yeah. going on. Isaac, Isaac for Isaac gonna go on. So Dan goes holding still. So Isaac uh, for Killey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isaac for Killey, yeah. Yeah, we're we're doing it next time. Next time if it's up there. Okay, oh, mate. Got to slow the game down, do yeah. when we yeah. can, yeah. Yeah, we'll do. Yes, please, John. Yes, Slow please. it. Dino, Turk, no cookie struggling. Well, there's nothing we can do, is that? Well, they might drop it to a four or something. You might as well tell him. When it's Dino's turn to call Mark about Joe Cook's injury, the gaffer is too engrossed in the game to notice. He's rung me 800 times. I've picked up every time. I've rung him once and he hasn't picked up. I'm not looking. Keep doing that. Whoever's done that, do that again. <laughs> Fucking hell. With their season almost over and nothing left to play for, Altrincham can't quite find the level they need to break down a heavily motivated Dorking defence. Right, okay, mate. Yeah, Cookie's struggling a bit. Do you want him to stay there or do you want to change something? I know we've got no subs, but... What, blowing? No, he's struggling. I think his hamstring's tight. I'd leave, I'd leave it where it is, Dino. Yeah, OK. Yeah, I'd leave it where it is. OK. All right, then. All right, mate. All right, back, back. One and a half. He said leave it as it is. How long there? With Mark waiting patiently and quietly in the stand, Harry Ottaway takes the ball into the corner for the last seconds of the game. Brilliant game, superb, very good, Fucking very good, God, very good. Well one done. of the worst performances. He's, he's had a great game. He didn't fall for you crying your eyes out, that's all it is. You're crying your eyes out. Listen, we had to get a win today, so that, that was the main thing. I don't give a fuck about little mistakes. For me, the only, my, my, my take out of that game there are intricacies in life you have to get right in situations. If that's a mid-table game, right, I'm not half as bothered about playing backwards, right? Not half as bothered. But when you know there's something on the game, you have to really think about what you do. You have to really think, right, there's something on this today, right? And it does make a difference if it's a game you need to win versus a mid-table shit game, right? You know, playing back into a press, trusting your mates to get the ball and do something with it. It weren't a great decision on any day of the week because they were full pressing you today. It was never a good decision. They beat you 4-1 at their place by nicking the ball four times, right? So it was never a good decision. That takes you, you lot as a team, whether you're Tony Craig, 700 games, fucking, whoever you might be, every time you play backwards, they just press another five yards. Pryor, honestly, was playing as a number eight first half. Because all you boys had to do was just get up the field because then the gaps were going to open. If we went, and I said before the game, we must go a bit more direct. You have to own that situation. I thought you boys at the back did not own that. And then we've done what we do. We've done enough. Well done, Jim. Well done, mate. A goal and an assist. Brilliant, Jimmy. I know you're blowing out your fucking ass, right? OK, but well done. Listen, we had to go over the line. Thanks to the subs that haven't got on. The boys that have warmed up. There is casualties today that aren't going to make Tuesday. So there's going to be a lot of fresh faces going to Gateshead. And you know what? Yes, it's a long way. But let me tell you, you're a long time fucking retired, pushing shopping trolleys, mate. And you're fucking going away and having a good game of football in this division, mate, is fucking more enjoyable than the fucking last 25 years of your fucking life. Trust me. So fucking embrace it when you get the call up. That's how it is, yeah? Dawkins Wanderers style today. We've done what we had to fucking do. If we get relegated on 52 points, then I'll be fucking surprised, OK, yeah? Or I'd be very surprised. The winning run continues. But I thought we took liberties today. We took a few liberties, right? And that was the thing for me that I was disappointed with, OK? And you have to just look at weaknesses. You have to play on them. And you have to have players on the field that know how you're targeting weaknesses, right? That was the bit I'm taking out. But fuck me and my happy we got that win. 
I've never felt more pressure in my fucking life, but we had to get over the line. Okay, good stuff. Right, management quick, yeah. I, 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 the only thing I'll say is, listen, I mean, I, I, listen, I respect everybody here, but I don't understand how you've let them go backwards so much. We can't, we can't we literally can't, can't do anything. Nah, not having it. Sorry, lads, not having it. Not having it at all. Evident, but you've got to fucking respect what we're saying. I, I don't at all. Could I'm telling you now, I'd have stopped the game if need be to say, uh, for me, it's not about, you've got to go say to someone like, Tony Craig, Tony, come here. Next person to pass backwards getting taken off. You've got to pick on someone you know is going to take responsibility and sort it out. We did not. We played back. We were embarrassingly playing. And I love you all and I respect everybody. But I can't believe if you say Tony Craig or Dan Lindon. I said it to Tony and George about five times. Oh, okay. Go Go on. Man, it's you said it. All right. Okay. You've, you've run down to well, it. I, I, I know you'd never lie to me. I know that. But I'm just, I just, I'm struggling to understand how they fucking could get it so wrong for so long. Good. See the ref. Try and keep these good books. Um, see in a bit. Today we was fucking fortunate. Today you saw exactly everything I hate about footballers today. Given a basic instruction, didn't follow it, didn't own it as a team, very quiet. I got annoyed with the management team because I struggled to understand how they could let it go on so long. Every time we seem to win, you come back and check the results and everyone else has won as well. But yeah, we're on a good run. Um, obviously we didn't plan on going 2-0 down today, but that's just the character we're showing at the minute, I think sums us up in the last few weeks. Not the ideal start, um, but we've all, we always know we've always got it in us to score goals. And he said, you know, he said that at the start, we've always got goals in us. Everyone's picking up results, so it's more, ever more important to just keep getting these three points on the board. We're confident at the minute, like we've been winning games and we're, we're confident we can score goals. And we have been good defensively other than today, really. I think that was the first time since York we've conceded two in a game and we've been keeping a lot of clean sheets. And when you've got players like Jim, like JP, Otz, like Josh, that can always grab a goal, it's, you've got you know, confidence in them. As a, as a group, we've sort of realised, you know what, like, a lot of the time we're like, playing around with it around the back and that's the way we play, you know, that's, that's our pattern, that's the way we play. But I think now we've got Jace back, it, it, you know, it has made a big difference. Um, going, you know, going a bit more direct, not, that's not saying boot it long and hope for the best, you know, it's, it's tactical and we're starting to think about it a little bit more in that fashion. Are you thinking about next season and the potential of full time in that or is this something that's on your mind at all? Uh, it's in the back of my mind but at the minute like if we was to get relegated it probably wouldn't be in the question we'd probably stay part time but in this league I think it's us, Weldstone are the only sort of two teams that are part time and you know you can see sort of the difference not sort of the difference in us compared to teams but like um, we don't get as much training time as the other teams and you know if we did have that we could probably you know be even better than what we're, we're doing now. We obviously want to play we want to play good football um, but you know I think it all started when you know we played Barnet Barnet at Meadowbank and just went direct against a really physical team and won the battle and won the ball in higher areas because you know if you are a team that just plays out and that's all you do, enough an easy tactic for the opposition, and it? it's like, you know, they've got an easy session on their Monday morning eating their scrambled egg, you know. You press him, you press him, you press him. That's it. Force them long. And we've we've let teams beat us by by doing that, you know? Um, so when we was in a world of bothering the division, we had to make a decision uh, to be a little bit more direct at times. So yeah, I mean I think we we're we're evolving. I, I, I fucking hate not playing well. I hate giving away shit goals. Um, and I think both of those things apply today. But what I'd say is this, is that bringing back Jason Pryor has is, is, is been a big deal in our season. He's headed away 914 crosses and he's scored important goals and he organises and he's a winner. And them boys are irreplaceable. And um, that's what you saw today. Thank you for watching Bunch of Amateurs. If you'd like to help us continue making this show, join us on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash bunch of amateurs. We will give you behind the scenes content, extended interviews, and most importantly, you get the episodes a week early, they're extended, and they don't have any adverts in them. So if you fancy it, head to Bunch of Amateurs on Patreon.